Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way. You are here today in my sewing nook. Today is Saturday, but you're here for hashtag Friday Sews. Thanks to Jen at Today and Jen's Sewing Room, who started this collaboration a few years ago, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing, and now includes many, many sewists of all levels throughout the world. So thank you, Jen, for this um, platform, actually, to bring sewists together to discuss what projects we're working on, what we've done, what we want to do, and just discuss life. I think that's what I'm going to start with first of all in this video today is life. Okay, the week kind of got away from me <laughs> this last week because yes, as I mentioned previously, we were having HVAC problems, you know, with our the heating and air conditioning unit. We had to have it replaced. It was supposed to be replaced on Wednesday, but the tech called and said that he couldn't come out until Thursday. But he was here on Thursday and replaced the unit, got it up and running, and we have been so fortunate to have had heat. Because Friday morning, mm -hmm, when we woke up, it was very chilly. Turned the heat on right away. Uh, it was so comfortable. <laughs> You know, we may do this past week, a couple days were chilly in the morning, and we may do with our little fireplace space heater, but boy, when you've got central heating and central air when you need it, it's wonderful. So we are doing fine today, this weekend. This weekend and into next week is supposed to be very cold, so we got our unit replaced just in time, <laughs> and hopefully there is no more future issues with anything like that here. So, other than that, oh yes, I did have a sewing class on Thursday morning, as a matter of fact. I went to a sewing class, which left William here alone to take care of Ginger when the repair guy came, uh, you know, the installer for the HVAC unit. So, I went to my class and it was supposed to be a very, very cold day, very rainy day, it was a very dreary day when I first started out for class and it started to rain maybe about an hour before I got out of class so I mean I was there for a couple of hours and then it just kept getting darker and darker outside and looking more like it was gonna storm and then the rain started and yes it was a heavy rain a heavy downpour actually but let me show you here we made a little makeup bag in class. I, I've i never made a bag like this before. Yeah, I did a tote bag in class there previously, but I've never made such a small bag. It was challenging, let me tell you. I am no Vera Bradley. I am no Adam Sews. And I've even seen So Carol has done some of these bags, <laughs> but it was a challenge, let me, let me put it that way. The directions, once again, I don't know where the teacher gets her her uh, pattern directions, but they were complicated. Let me just pull this out like this. With bags like this, you're working inside out. This is the inside of the bag. And then when you're all done, you stuff it outside in, you know, to turn it right. It's hard for me to picture things like this turning out when you're just sewing it and you're sewing things inside out. I have trouble picturing, okay, which way am I going to turn this or push this through to make it look right? But I did it, and the zipper turned out really nice. I was pleased with that. I have not done a zipper in many, many years. Many. So I was really pleased with the way that turned out. I'm pleased with the way the bag turned out. I almost want to frame it and not use it, but I'll put it to use. Yeah. And this was made using three fat quarters, or fat squares, as So Carol wants to call them. <laughs> Is that what they are called in England? I'm not sure. But anyway, they're fat quarters, and a zipper, and also a, a little piece of fusible uh, fleece to put inside to just kind of give it a little body, you know, a little, not stiffness, but a little bit more support, okay? But... That's the bag we made in class. Everybody finished. My picture is on my Facebook with the rest of the class members and their bags. But um, yeah, that was 
it, you know, even though it was a challenging class, it was fun. I mean, it wasn't challenging to the point where, oh man, what am I going to do here now? You know, this is how is this going to turn out? It was, it was not like that. But yeah, you kind of did wonder how this going to turn out, but it did. Okay, I'm pleased with it. Will I make another one? Well, like I said, I'm no Vera Bradley, I'm no Adam Sows, and I'm no So Carol. I don't know. There was another bag that a lady had in class so that she made on her own, and it was the a boxy bag, I think it was called. And it was like, so I would like to make that. It has two handles on it, one on each side, kind of a long triangular shape. I liked that size bag. So, okay, I like the shape of the bag too. It was different, but I'm pleased with what I did. Then I, I came home from class and I had some mail. Yes, I did. Some friend mail, okay? And, well, unlike other people who do their unboxing and unwrapping and opening of mail on air or, you know, on their videos, I tear into it right away. I just can't wait, okay? So let me show you what I got. <laughs> First of all, what I received was a Christmas card. And this is from Trish at Pinky's Farm. Okay. And inside was this little... Uh, I dropped a pen. Was this little gifty. And you open it up. A dog cookie. A treat. I'm assuming this is for Ginger, right, Trish? <laughs> no, I'm sure it is. She hasn't seen it yet. I'll give it to her today, okay? But a little cookie for Ginger. And then a little tag that says, Much love on every thread. Yeah, that's cute. I don't know if you can even read that, but it's kind of embroidered on that. I don't have tags like this. I kind of wanted to get labels at one point that said something, you know, that I could put on everything that I made, but I haven't done that yet. I don't care about saying, you know, made by Deb or Deb's way or anything like that, but just a special saying. I'll get around to it. But anyway, this is the little kit. Inside, it's a little sewing kit in a way. It's got pins, a safety pin, and well, these are other pins, straight pins and other designer type straight pins. I don't know if you can see what the head of it is, but they're little, it looks like little, well they are little animals, little teddy bear. And I would say that is a little, they, it looks like a spool of thread actually. But that's what Trish sent in her Christmas card. Thank you so much, Trish. That's cute. Cute idea. Cute fabric, too. I like that. And then I also got a box from England. I do have another friend in England that um, we've known each other for about, oh my goodness, over 30 years, actually. Yeah. And we exchange gifts and cards and all that kind of stuff. So I thought it was from her. I just automatically assumed it was from her. But... It was from Carol at So Carol. And I I opened that up right away. Yes, I did. <laughs> In that box. It, they were so nicely wrapped up too, but you know, you're not going to see that cuz I wrapped I I tore into it. Yeah, I did. But was this lovely set of Tilda fabrics. And they're cute. They're I love the colors. Blue and any version of blue is my color and I'm assuming they are fat quarters too I don't see it on here I did yes they are five fat quarters okay and different variations of pattern and tone it's really pretty I've, I've got to think about what I want to make out of this and right away I thought maybe I'll just you know put them <laughs> Put them on a, in a frame and hang them in the sewing room. Not to use them, but you've got to use fabrics. You know, you've got to put it to use. Make something of it that will remind you of the person that gave it to you when, whenever you use it or wear it, you know. Yeah. So I will be making something out of this, but I don't know what just yet, Carol. Stay tuned for that. 
Also, oh yes, I did receive a lovely little card. Yeah. That's cute. And Dorset tea bags. Yay. I'm sure I've had this before because my friend um, that I mentioned before lives in the Dorset area. Oh my goodness, Carol, that just reminded me of the Dorset cream teas. Oh my goodness. They are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. There is a tea room here in our area that used to serve cream teas. I don't know if they do anymore. I haven't been there since the pandemic started because they closed down totally for a couple of years. I gotta get back over there and see. Their, their food was very British at that time when they were open. I hope they haven't changed much, but they did cream teas as well. And they, they kind of sell some of this kind of stuff in their shop as well. But I don't remember seeing Dorset. I forget the other one, it was something tips. You know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Anyway, thank you. I will drink this. Yes, I will. And you know, might stay tuned for a Tea Tuesday because I may use this in the next one. And then she also included a little souvenir from her recent trip to the Canary Islands. This is from Tenerife. And yes, a cute little bowl. But look at the interior. How pretty is that? So colorful. Yeah. Thank you so much. I was thinking, should I put it in the, um, well, entertainment center we have in the, in the uh, family room where I put like collectible stuff that I don't want to bro get broken. But I'm going to use this here in my sewing room because let me show you this. I do like crystal a lot uh, and I look for it at all the thrift stores when I go shopping there or you know garage sales rummage sales that sort of thing and I do buy it not just crystal which hey that does remind me I digress here quite a bit but anyway when I was in London years ago for the it was actually the last Crufts dog show held in London in the London area and um, my friend from Bournemouth area, her husband and his friend and I went to London for the show. And, you know, in between the shows and that, we went shopping. And I remember going to, I don't know if we were at Harrods or at Marks and Spencer, but at one of those, it was one of those stores, I know that, high end, you know. I went on the crystal aisle and I saw some beautiful, beautiful lamps. Oh my gosh. And my friend from Bournemouth, she just says, you know, Debbie, they're quite dear. They're quite dear. And I went up to look at the price tag on one um, or even just look at the tags on it. And right away before I knew it, there was a clerk right there at my side. My friend kind of backed off from me. And the clerk came up to me and said, you know, something like, uh, Madam, can I help you? And I said, yes, I, this is beautiful. I said, I was just trying to find some information on it and see how much it cost. And they helped me out with that. They took over right away, okay, and got the tag for me, showed it, and picked up the item and showed me. Oh, it was a beautiful piece of crystal. It really was lovely. I like to go and twang it, you know, and hear the sound that crystal makes. If it's good crystal, it is so oh, pleasing to the ear. But anyway, okay. I digress. Um, my friend was totally embarrassed <laughs> that I did that in a big department store or, you know, big fancy store like Mark and Spencer's or Harrods. But, you know, I do that here and I wasn't rude. Matter of fact, I thank the clerk for helping me very nicely. I didn't get the lamp, but anyway, um, it was beautiful too. Um, anyway, what I'm going to, what I, where was I? This is what I used on my sewing table for many, many years. It's a, it's a crystal piece. Actually, it's just cut glass, but it's not bad. It's very thick, and it has a floral design in the base of it. I don't know if you can see it here on the camera, but it's just the right size to collect little things that I just need to throw in a little bin here, you know, until I put them away. But that I keep on my sewing table. Well, I probably will still keep that on my sewing table, but this is going on the sewing table as well, okay? 
yeah thank you very much Carol that will have an honored place on my sewing table from now on and I, I believe I covered everything that I got in the mail yes and this weekend I'm I'm planning to do some baking okay I've wanted to make some rye bread and I think I found a recipe that might be what it, I was looking for actually we've been having um, rye bread on special order from the bakery at our Publix grocery store here for the past year or so every we used to get it every week and now we get it every two weeks I love that bread it's a seeded rye bread and it's a light rye bread we love it so I'm gonna try and make it and see how that turns out I also have a recipe for everything bagels and we love those I'm gonna try and make that too and see how that goes I'm not a big bread maker but for some reason especially this time of year I kind of get a the urge to want to bake goods now this year I did not do Christmas cookies but I will be baking some cookies this afternoon for sure but I buy them you know the batter already pre-made and <laughs> you know little Nestle's comes out with these um, packages of cookies and they've got a new one it has caramel in it and then walnuts and chocolate chips a hunks of chocolate really it is so good I think it's called something like pecan delight but I'm gonna be baking those up this afternoon using my little oven okay I'll be putting that to use as well today and the big oven thank goodness I have both you know hey comes in real handy but that's what I've got planned for this week and then next week we will be celebrating our ninth anniversary yes we will be so we're gonna go out for dinner and have a steak dinner a nice steak dinner at one of our favorite restaurants I already know where it's gonna be what we're gonna have <laughs> when we're gonna have it you know but we love it Texas Roadhouse yes there's filet mignon there is delicious I was gonna say other oh, steaks but I I've only had the filet mignon so I'm leaving it at that I'm sure the other steaks are just as good but we love their filet mignon it's so tender delicious so that's what we're gonna have for our anniversary dinner this year we're not gonna go anywhere special I mean in the past we'd go over to uh, the Tampa area you know maybe stay at Hard Rock William likes to go over there but he's just not feeling it right now this year I guess especially after having to replace the, the HVAC system um, hey, we're gonna stay home <laughs> but other than that nothing else is really happening this week we're all done with our shopping or I'll be all done with baking by the end of the weekend I've got Christmas dinner planned for us and it's just, it is just gonna be us too so that's that's comfortable yeah and it's it's gonna be a great week I hope it will be a great week for all of you out there as well you take care and I'll be talking to you again real soon but for this Friday sews on Saturday it's going to be bye for now. Ginger. This is from your Aunt Trish. What do you think of that, huh? She's licking her chops. <laughs> well, we'll leave her to, in privacy to finish eating her treat.